Uh, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational round at Seclair, an integrative holistic uh, psychiatric facility located in Delmont, Pennsylvania. My name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist, and I am joined today. I'm joined by two of my colleagues, and on my left would be Ashley Barone. I am an art therapy student from Seton Hill University. And my right, and I'm Marie Pelly, a PA student from St. Francis University. Super, super. So what? Of course, what we do on these podcasts is not just to tell you to jump rope because it's good for you. We throw things out there that can you can incorporate in your life, and we tell them how it works, how it works. And that's the big deal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's about how it works, about how life works. How it works. How you bet. So what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about, we're going to have a live check-in to see if you're alive. We're going to have a check-in to see in the moment. We're going to have an in-the-moment check-in. We're going to have a mindfulness check-in. We're going to have an experience check-in. So how would you tell if someone is alive? You're a physician assistant. So <laughs> tell us, how, how would you tell if someone's alive? Um, well, we're taught to do the ABCs, so airway, breathing, circulation, and check vital signs. Airway, so sure breathing, pulse. circulation. Yeah. Okay, see so if they have a pulse. Mm -hmm. Right. So how many times have you walked down the street, Ashley, and seen people who you thought could possibly be uh, auditioning for a zombie movie? Uh, <laughs> I've seen people walk around without really anywhere going, anywhere that they're going. They're just blank. Mm -hmm. Blank looks. Right. So how many people, Marie, have you seen? You asked them, hey, how are things going? Oh, same stuff, different day. Mm -hmm. And perhaps you've said that for yourself. Yeah. Not after today. So, have you ever heard people say that? Mm -hmm. So what we're talking about is, again, we've, we keep introducing this concept of being a human being rather than being a human doing. Mm -hmm. A human doing is trudging through life. A human being does the same things every day. There's, there's no new experiences. But wherever there is a human being experiences life, experiences the joy of existence on an on a, on a every momentary basis, every moment. Every moment. If you could find the uniqueness in each moment, nothing would ever be boring again, would it not? You would never be bored. How could you if you could find the uniqueness in each moment? Would you do that, Ashley? I can try. You can try? Yeah. Okay. Well, and again, we've given this prescription before, but I'm going to give it again. So your two's challenge and the challenge for everybody in this room and out there is to experience something. Open your eyes and experience something. See something that you've never seen before. Be in, a, be in a familiar situation, on your drive here, or in your home, in your bedroom, or in the kitchen, out someplace where you normally go. Open your eyes and notice something that you have never noticed before. That's your challenge. That's your challenge for today. So, uh, what we're going to do is you put on those, those blank ones, and this, uh, just to use these as an example of what some people's lives are. Some people's lives are blank, and there's no color there. There's no emotion. There's no feeling. There's no electricity. There's no being alive. Have you ever, have you ever seen people with masks on like this? Have you ever seen people living, living their life like this? Perhaps waiting in traffic, perhaps waiting in a doctor's waiting room, being in a grocery store line. When to, and try to imagine what you're doing to your life, trying to imagine what you're doing with your time. So you can take those off, and my hope is that you'll never have to wear a mask like that again. So what I'm going to ask you two to do, and I ask everyone in our studio audience and out there in Never Never Land, to participate in this particular exercise. This is, this is a being exercise. So I would like you to, and everyone out there, hold your breath. Hold, take a deep breath. Hold it, 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 hold it. Exhale, and then breathe in. Breathe in and imagine you're breathing for the very first time. Take another deep, imagine this is the first time you've ever breathed. Imagine that, what would it be like, Marie? Refreshing. For the first, the first breath, the first time to breathe, and every breath is your next breath. Every breath, next, your next breath is your first breath. It's your first breath. It's your present breath. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now close your eyes. Everyone, close your eyes. Close them tight. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. You're in the dark. You're in the dark. You're like Dorothy that just landed in Munchkin Land. They're going to open the door. Now open your eyes and imagine you're seeing for the very first time. Imagine you're seeing, imagine you have sight for the very first time. How, how awesome would that be? How awesome would that be? Does anyone ever think of that? Do you ever think of opening your eyes? Oh boy, another day. 
How about opening your eyes and seeing? Seeing for the very first time. Mm -hmm. Could you could you try that? Could I you could try. You could try it? Yeah. Okay. Could you try that, Ashley? Yes. See for the very first time. See things you've never mm -hmm. seen before. Just don't see green. Just don't see trees. Describe everything that you see and participate in it. So this, now this is something for everybody. Plug your ears. Plug your ears and hold them. Let's have silence. 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 Now. Open them up, and you're hearing for the very first time. You're hearing, and my hope is that if you're if you're experiencing hearing for the very first time, it may not be what you want to be my voice. So <laughs> the idea is, if we're hearing for the very first time, do you really hear? Do you hear what's going on? I zone in and out. You zone in and out. Yeah. Well, then we might want to participate in finding your pulse more often. <laughs> uh, so when when we're lying there in the night, in the middle of the night, what do we hear? Crickets. Crickets. What else? You hear the creaking of the house. Mm -hmm, yeah. Do you hear? Do you maybe hear the cat moving around that you wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't hear? Why wouldn't you hear that during the day? There's too much other noise. There's too much other mm -hmm. noise, isn't there? There's too much other noise. So what we want to do is help people participate in their lives to know the exquisite joy of being that can be for every second. So I'm going to ask these two to. Put on some props and imagine what it would be like to, to be, to be there, to be here right now. What time is it, Miss Marade? <laughs> it's now. It's right now. And where are you at, Ashley? I'm right here. You're right here. So my thoughts are and my hope is to everyone participating in exercise to imagine that it is right now and that we are right here. And these exercises that we just did will help you do that. They'll help you be in the moment. They'll help you know that you're right here and that it's and that it's right now. Wow. This is just great. This is this is wonderful. This is what it's like to live life out loud. This is what it's like to live life in color life in color. And I'd like to thank these two for being such good sports today. They had no idea what they were going to be getting involved in. However, they had the willingness to try. The willingness to try. And as always, everyone on earth is in recovery from something. And we ask you for to be honest, open-mindedness, and have the willingness to try. And should you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding this podcast, Miss Ashley will explain to you how to contact us. To continue this conversation, please like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter under St. Clair Life. You can also find this and other ground rounds on youtube.com slash St. Clair video and find audio versions on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. And please visit www.stclair.com for more about us and other articles on our great blog. And as always, we give a free prescription at the end of every podcast, fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Unplug your television and take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we fish without bait. That's living a life without definitive expectations. So your challenge today is to be good to yourself and also to be good to another. Your challenge for today from Seclara is when you're in a cashier, a line, smile at the cashier and thank them and tell them how much you appreciate them taking care of you. Until then, until the next time, thank you so much.